Hello and welcome to all. In this video, we will learn about stock transfer in SAP MM. Before we start, please go through my other videos on P2P process, enterprise structure, subcontracting, info record, vendor consignment process and so on. I request you to subscribe my channel, share and like this video. Now let us start. Stock transfer have two types. First is intra-company and second is inter-company. Intra-company stock transfer is stock transfer within the company code and inter-company stock transfer means within or uh, sorry inter-company stock transfer means transfer between different company codes. Now in case of intra-company stock transfer there are two types that is plan to plan transfer and storage location to storage location transfer. Example of plan to plan transfer uh, is suppose we have two plans uh, one plan code is 1000 and second plan code is 1001. Now we have to transfer material from one plan that is uh, plant from plant 1000 to plant 1001 within one company code it is called as an intra company and suppose in case of this uh, storage location to storage location transfer means within one plant now again we will take example of 1000 plant code now in 1000 plant code itself there are suppose 10 storage locations and we have to transfer we want to transfer the material from one storage location to other uh, storage location within the same plant. We have storage location 001, 002 within our plant uh, 1000 and we want to transfer a certain material from 001 location to 002 location within the same plant. Okay, so this is called as a storage location to storage location transfer it comes under the heading of intra company because this is a within company code ok now uh, in case of storage location to storage location transfer there are two subtypes that is one step process and two step process ok uh, uh, in the case of one step process uh, certain quantity of the specific material is requested by the responsible officer may be a uh, store in charge of the one storage location okay, to other storage location ok now uh, for this we can use a T code MB1B and movement type will be 311 now in case of two step process uh, under the heading of storage location uh, why we follow this step because in single step uh, whether the receiving storage location actually receives the material or not the system automatically updates the stock status this can be avoided in two step process ok so this is a preferred uh, process ok uh, for this we can use a T code MB1B and moment I will be 313 ok now in case of plan to plan transfer again there are uh, two steps one step process and two two step process ok uh, here also in case of one step process certain quantity of a material is uh, requested by the in charge of uh, one storage location of one plant to the other storage location of other plant ok means from plant 1001 to 1000 suppose ok this now in case of two step process same as a uh, two, two step process for location to location transfer in single step 
receiving plant is has actually received that material or not irrespective of that the stock gets updated in the system in case of one step process and to avoid this we can follow two step process within plant to plant transfer just like two step process but this process is within storage location to storage location and this is within plant uh, means between plant to plant okay uh, now for to two step process within plant to plant uh, we have to follow the t code mb 1b and moment i will be 3 not 3 okay so uh, this is a short video on uh, stock transfer in case of sap mm uh, if you have any suggestions or doubts please feel free to comment and again i am very much thankful for you for watching this video please be in touch and bye bye